Tonight, a Cottonwood woman has been missing for almost two months, and so far her whereabouts are unknown. The police department and her mother pleading for the public's health. Help. WDHN's Robert Smith has the story all new at 6. It's been over 40 days and counting since Rhonda Burgess last laid eyes on her daughter, Sharon Denise Dobbs, who vanished away from family members after Christmas last year. I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. So if anybody out there knows where she's at, the main thing with me is knowing she's okay. Her location, that's up to her. Burgess says the last time she saw her daughter was the weekend before Christmas when she came to her house to visit for a minute. The day after Christmas is when she went missing from one of her brother's house where she was currently living in the 4500 block of Iris Road in Cottonwood. The Dothan Police Department says Dobbs left to go to a friend's house and says she would return the next day, but that didn't happen. Her mother says she doesn't believe anything led up to her leaving her son's house other than her just walking away. She says it's concerning because she knew a lot of people too. I'm really scared because she trusts people. Even though I've tried to tell her it's not safe to go walking. And she would say, I can take care of myself. I'm a grown woman. She's also on medication for several health issues that she believes she is without during her disappearance. Burgess has been calling the police department every day, asking for any information regarding her daughter, but there are no leads at this time. I called them yesterday and the same thing. I mean, they're doing everything they can so far as I know, and I appreciate them because I don't know what to do. I don't even have a car to go anywhere to find, look for her. Her mother, along with the police department, are pleading for the public's help in helping them find Sharon Dobbs. Just thank everybody for trying to help. If you have any information, you are asked to call the police department. In Dothan, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Whitergrass.